How to honor two of Chattanooga's finest citizens and help out the McCamey Animal Center. We'll have details. We are also going to be heading into the kitchen with Lifestyle Cuisine Meals. And there's a big event on the way to the Carpet Capital. We'll tell you all about the Dalton Creative Arts Concert Series. All of that and more straight ahead this half hour on Let's Chat. Welcome to Let's Chat, the Tennessee Valley's premier show focusing on lifestyle and entertainment with Jess Raby and Chip Chapman, bringing you smart shopping tips, community events, and the newest trends. Now, let's chat. Good to have you here on this Wednesday morning as we continue throughout the week. I was going to introduce the day because I finally know what day of the week it is. Really? Normally I'm wrong, but I knew today was Wednesday, yeah. so I was ready. Labels, right. labels, labels. <laughs> cool story continues to come after cool story pertaining to that terrible fire over in Paris affecting the Notre Dame Cathedral. Everyone from all over the world seemingly coming together to help them rebuild. Right, so we talked a little bit yesterday about that, you know, the, the president of Paris and the, the government has stated that they will rebuild, you know, plans are forthcoming. Um, but interestingly enough, a lot of donors, businesses, and private individuals, you know, millionaires and billionaires, have stepped up and have already been donating money to the rebuilding. Money by the millions. Mm -hmm. One of the, um, and I forget his name in Paris, he has pledged $17 million already, mm -hmm. which is just incredible. Right. Um, and what's even better is one of his longtime business competitors is matching that same amount. Now, the first guy is saying, uh-uh, you got to do better than that. Here's another $15 million or whatever. So um, yes. it's interesting. Trying, how, kind of, you know, in yeah. a little bidding war together, which, it is. as I said, if I was in charge of raising money for the rebuilding, I would keep that bidding war going as sure. long as I could. No doubt about it's it. all going to such a great, you know, iconic structure. Interesting how things like this bring people of different denominations, different nationalities, mm -hmm. all together as one. Well, and like we touched on yesterday, I mean, this reaches across religious affiliations. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those structures that goes beyond borders. Yeah, it really does. And one of the, um, and I don't know what to make of this, probably nothing, but seemingly, has there been any formal announcement from the Vatican about a donation to Notre Dame Cathedral? Not that I'm aware of. I haven't heard of one Yet. either. So we'll keep you hmm. posted on that. All right, what else do we have coming up this hour? It is Time Magazine's Top 100 Most Influential People. Right. And yet again, Jess and I did not make the list. I know. What is wrong with that? How do these people manage for that? <laughs> no. So they have released their Top 100. It includes entertainers, an athlete, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, and one impressively calm journalist who cover Time's issue which honor the 100 most influential people in the world. Of course, all getting a great cover shot. USA Today exclusively revealed that Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, Taylor Swift, Sandra Oh, and CBS's own Gail King are depicted on the covers, which is really cool. Gail King has really come into her own over the past mm -hmm. couple of years, especially after getting that, I don't know how you describe it, that two-part interview she did yeah. with R. Kelly a few weeks ago. Absolutely. She's always been a very, very talented interviewer. A lot of people have kind of poo-pooed her because she's Oprah's best friend. Gail is a, uh, an attorney and a journalist yeah. in her own right and a darn good one. So. Well, and as, as a member of the media, I've always thought she does an excellent job doing what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. and that is, we're supposed to give you the facts and let you form an opinion. Yep. And I think she does an excellent job of that. She's very unbiased, you know, Everyone has their own opinion, but she keeps it off the camera for the most part and just yeah, does her job. She really does, and she does it admirably. And she's got a way of interviewing people that makes them feel very much at home, yeah. like they're talking with one of their best friends. It and makes it enjoyable for talent. us to watch. It, it is. It is, and it's a talent that she has. There's no doubt about that. Gail Godot, Wonder Woman, of course, from the movie. Yes. How long did that come out ago? Um, not long. Mm, not long. Like right. maybe two, three years ago. I'm We're going to sure. go with that. Uh, she wrote of her Red Notice and Fast and Furious co-star, there's no one in Hollywood quite like the wrestler turned action star. She lauded the work ethic of The Rock. He didn't call himself that anymore. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Johnson uh, praised him for establishing an environment on set filled with warmth and positivity, which is pretty cool. Yes. You wouldn't think of a guy who came from his background as fostering that kind hey, of public Hey, The image. Rock but is one of my favorite people. I will gladly 
take that. All right. <laughs> we're making the list next year. Deal? That's it. We got it. Time. We're coming for you. Got some video <laughs> I wanted to show you, and this happened at a baseball game last night featuring the Houston Astros, and one pitcher just absolutely did his best Kuno Reeves impression from the Matrix. Have a look at this. This guy watched the fastball, and we've slowed it down. Boom. Whoa. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is that Holy not incredible? Smokes. Talk about quick reflexes. Um, this was Houston Astros pitcher Colin McHugh. He successfully dodged a ball that was hit right back at him. Um, he delivered a fastball to the Oakland A's first baseman, Kendry Morales. The ball was hit back up the alley. He did perform a matrix-like move. Can you yes. imagine getting hit by a baseball that hard, that close to home plate? No. Uh, I mean, that would have caused major, major damage. Yeah, um, no kidding. Wow. I would have been out for the rest of the week. I would have been out for the season. <laughs> um, the Astros, by the way, turned that hit into a double play, yeah. went on to win the game, 9-1. to one. Yeah. Pretty cool for the Houston Astros. Yeah, that's all right. all right. I mean, that's crazy. And we all love music, so here's a really cool story. Yes, we have one from Cleveland that Jess and I will be talking about yes. tomorrow, but this one features two police officers in Buffalo that are using music to help unite their city. So after Michael Norwood and Mo Badger were recorded singing inside a Buffalo restaurant, their musical partnership became a sensation. Norwood and Badger are using their music to now connect with the community. They've started a program called COPS with two S's, which stands for Children Overcoming Police Stereotypes through sports. They run basketball for games, or basketball games rather, for kids all over Buffalo. Um, pretty cool. And the two of them, no doubt, have changed the face of how police officers are perceived, especially in a city like Buffalo, New York. And you can see they're singing around the community as they yeah. encounter civilians. So. Pretty cool story that Jeff Glor did with them last night on the CBS yeah. Evening News, and hopefully we'll be able to share part of that to where mm -hmm. you can hear part of them singing maybe tomorrow or Friday. I love it. Yeah, me we got to break down those barriers. I mean, we're all just people. Yes, we certainly are. We all have a lot more in common yeah. than what most people think. We're going to be talking about how you can help out the McCamey Animal Center and honor two of Chattanooga's finest citizens ever. We'll introduce you to our my new best friend, mm -hmm. Rome, as well. Yeah, Rome is, a, <laughs> Rome is a sweetie. Also, big going on down in Dalton. We'll talk about their creative concert series. Yes. Right now, let's take a look at this week's Mom to Mom. 